Hey guys, so I'm going to do your multiplying fractions quiz review. I know we already did uh, some of this during class, so I'm just going to start from the beginning just in case um, you weren't paying attention. So, the rectangular diagram represents one whole. So, first of all, you're going to look down at it like a bird. How many columns are there? Well, there's one, two, three columns, so I know my denominator is going to be thirds. And then I want to see how many of those columns are shaded in. Well, that one's shaded in, and that one's shaded in. So it's going to be two-thirds on the top. And then I look at it from the side, and I see that there are one, two, three, four, five columns, and one, two, three are shaded across. So that's going to be three shaded out of five total. So, if they want to know which expression, multiplication expression, represents the value of the sections that are both shaded and striped, it's either going to be two-thirds times three-fifths, or we know the community property, commutative property, sorry, let's just do three-fifths times two-thirds. Okay. Second one tells us to evaluate 7 twelfths times 6 21st. So we're going to look diagonally and see is there anything that goes into 7 and 21. 7 does, so 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. Is there anything that goes into 6 and 12? Well, 6 is the greatest common factor, so 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. So your answer should be 1 6. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to zoom in. If the width of the rectangle is 5 and 2 thirds inches and the length is 4 and a fourth inches, what is the area? Remember, we have to use the formula area equals length times width. So if the area is equal to the length times the width and the length is 4 and a fourth inches, then we're going to do 4 and a fourth times, and then the width is 5 and 2 thirds. So we're going to do 5 and 2 thirds. Now, you cannot multiply mixed numbers. You have to make them in proper fractions first. Remember, I taught you to check it. So 4 times 4 is 16, plus the extra 1 is 17 over 4. So now we're going to have area equals 17 over 4 times, we've got to check that number 2. So three, 5 times 3 is 15, plus the 2 more gives me 17. So that's 17 over 3. Now, I can't cross cancel because 17 is a prime number. So 17 times 17 is 289, and you should know that from your perfect squares, over 4 times 3 is 12. So we're going to take a dip in the pool to convert it back to a mixed number now. 12 goes into 28 two times, minus 24 gives me 4. I bring down my 9, 12 goes into 49 four times, 4 times 12 is 48, and we get 1 left over. So our answer is, remember that's our whole number, so our answer is 24 and 1 12th inches squared, and it's inches squared Sorry, and it's inches squared because it's area. So that would be the answer. All right, now it says we have to model the following. Modeling means making that box array that we like. Okay, so three fifths times a ninth. So I'm going to separate it into fifths. And I have to color in three of them. So I'm going to color in one. Two, three. Okay. Now I have to separate into ninths the other way because remember three fifths was on top, and now we're going to do times a ninth. So we're going to separate these into ninths. So that's one ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six ninths, seven ninths, eight ninths, and nine ninths. So now we have to shade in one of them. So we're going to shade this one in. 
And now we have to look at the area that's double shaded. There's one that's double shaded. Here's two and three. So our answer is going to be three. And how many boxes do we have? Nine times five is 45. So three forty-fifths. Can that simplify? Yes. Three can go into both. So we're going to divide by three on the top and three on the bottom. Three divided by three is one. And 45 divided by 3 is 15, so our answer is 1 15th. And we can prove it up here to make sure we didn't do our model incorrectly. 3 and 9 go in 3 times, so 3 becomes a 1 and the 9 becomes a 3. 1 and 5 can't simplify, so 3 times 1 is 1, and 5 times 3 is 15, so we know we were correct. On the back side, it says... Which expression is represented by the picture? Well, we know that we have 1, 2, so 2 colored in out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we know that we have 2 sevenths. We don't have a fourth, and we don't have a fourth. So we know we have 2 sevenths. Now how many of them are there? Here's 1, here's 2, here's 3. So it's not going to be 2 times 2 sevenths, it's 3 holes times 2 sevenths. So D is going to be our answer. Emma wants to pull mulch in her square-shaped garden. So let's draw our square. Each side is 3 and 2 thirds feet long. So here's 3 and 2 thirds times 3 and 2 thirds. How long will she need? Area equals length times width. So we know it's going to be area equals 3 and 2 thirds times 3 and 2 thirds. So again, like we did on the front side, let me zoom this in so you can see it better. Like we did on the front side, you know you're going to have to check it. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 more is 11. So it's going to give us 11 thirds times, same thing, 11 thirds. Well, we can't cross cancel here, so we're going to have 121 over 9. But we can't leave it like that, so we're going to have to do long division. Take a dip in your pool. 9 goes into 12 one time. Gives me 3 left over. I bring down the 1. 9 goes into 30 three times, which is 27 with 4 left over. So my answer is going to be 13 and 4 ninths. So I'm going to write it over here so we can see it better. So the answer is 13 and four ninths and that would be it and again we got that because when we converted this we were left with 13 as our whole number four as our remainder which is the numerator and nine was the denominator we had all right so now in a survey four-fifths of the people like mashed potatoes with their turkey for thanksgiving of that four-fifths, a half of them said they preferred sweet mashed potatoes. What fraction said that they preferred sweet mashed potatoes? So we're going to do four-fifths times a half. Immediately, you should be able to see that the four and two have two in common. So two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. Two times one is equal to two, and five times one is equal to five. So two-fifths prefer mashed potatoes. Find the value of the following expression. Well, this is order of operations, right? Um, we have to, you know, we have to do it in the parentheses first, so we're going to have um, 15 over 6 times 12 over 5 plus now we know we have to multiply first, so that's going to be 19 minus 12. Okay, so again we're going to have 15 over 6 times 12 over 5 plus, still have to do it in the parentheses, so that's going to give me 7. Well now, this is multiplication. We're multiplying these things together. So that's what's going to come next. 15 and 5. Do they have anything in common? They do. 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 6 and 12. Do they have anything in common? They do. It's 6. So that becomes a 2. And this becomes a 1. 
So 3 times 2 is 6, one is 1, plus 7. Well, 6 over 1 is the same thing as 6, so 6 plus 7 will give me 13 as my final answer. A recipe calls for one and a fourth cups of flour to make one cake. If you want to make seven cakes, how many cups of flour will you need? Well, we know that for each cake, it's going to give me one and a fourth cups. So if I want to make seven cakes, I'm going to need to multiply. Now uh, you know that you need to make this into an improper fraction. So one times five is five, plus four more is nine. So you're going to have nine fifths times seven. But in order to multiply a fraction times a whole number, you have to put a one under the whole number. Can we simplify? No, nine and one won't simplify, and seven and five won't. So we're going to have to multiply across. Seven, nine times seven is 63, and five times one is five. I can't leave it like that, so I'm going to have to make it a mixed number. How many times is five going to six? One. Minus 5 gives me 1. I bring down my 3. 5 goes into 13 two times. Minus 10 gives me 3 remaining. So my answer is going to be 12, because that's my whole number. And 3 was my remainder, so it's going to be 3 fifths cups of flour. Okay? And then the last one says that April plans to ride her bike. Pi oh, sorry. April plans to ride her bike to the park. The park is four and two thirds miles from April's house. When April is a fourth of the way to the park, she sees her friend Harry. How many miles has she gone when she sees Harry? So we're going to have to do four and two thirds times a fourth. And um, we know that we can't multiply a mixed number, so we're going to have to make it into an improper fraction. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 more gives me 14 over 3 times a fourth. 1 and 3 won't simplify, 14 and 4 will, because 2 go into both. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. So 7 times 1 gives me 7, and 3 times 2 gives me 6, but I can't leave 7, 6 because that's an improper fraction, so I have to take a dip in the pool. 6 goes into 7 one time, subtract 6, and you get 1 left over. So your answer is going to be 1 whole, because of this 1 here, and then since the 1's a remainder, it's going to be 1 and 1, 6 miles. And that's our final answer. Please study tonight so you do well tomorrow. Thank you for watching.